What's up guys, Wiggs here, and I am back uh, giving you guys a follow-up video like I promised about the PlayStation 4. I recently did one about the Xbox 720, or as they're calling it, the Durango. Um, and I promised you guys that I'm going to be making an Xbox or a PlayStation 4 uh, commentary as well. And I'm excited to tell you guys that I do not know which console that I want to buy. I want to buy both, to be honest with you. But right now, it's leaning more towards the PS4 after that press conference on February 20th. Um... Now, I just want to go over some of the specs uh, about the controller. A lot of people have been bitching about the controller lately, and in my opinion, I think they did a great job this time around. Um, it's going to be called the DualShock 4 controller. Uh, it's going to have the same general look as the other controllers, um, but the buttons on it are different. There's going to be a light on the back of the controller. That light is going to be transmitted to a special bar, kind of like the Xbox 360 Connect, and that light is going to be able to bounce off of there, off that tracker device, and it's going to be uh, specifically for 3D use. Um, there's going to be a share button. You know how you hit like select, start, all that kind of stuff? Well, now there's going to be an additional button, and it's going to be the share button. Um, you're going to be able to share your games and anything else that you want to uh, share right to YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, all those social media websites um, by simply clicking a button. Um, now, I said that it is going to be pretty much the same look, but there's going to be a touch screen on it. So if you want to be playing, uh, for example, a game such as Skyrim on uh, PlayStation 4, you're going to be able to play that game on your uh, monitor itself or your TV, and then you're also going to be able to open up a separate window on your controller. So you can look at the map and stuff like that on your controller, so you don't have to toggle back and forth through the map in the game. That is fucking awesome, guys. Um... Like most consoles now, there are wireless and wired controllers, so the PlayStation 4 will be featuring both. Um, typically, the wireless controllers uh, generally go for a little bit more money, but hey, what the hell. Um, now let's get into the specs, guys. The specs of this console are fucking phenomenal. We're f they are featuring, Sony is featuring 8 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM. That's right, DDR5 RAM. Now usually, Sony kind of... Um, slacks when it comes to the RAM department, but this time they're stepping it up to complete to compete with the Xbox 720. The Xbox 720 has been leaked that they're going to be releasing 8 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. So they're both the same amount of RAM, but the speeds are different. DDR3 RAM is a little bit slower than DDR5 RAM, so the winner there goes to Sony. Um, it's, they're going to be featuring the X86 CPU. And if you guys are familiar with uh, terms such as that, that's almost like a 32-bit um, informational processor for the computer. And that's going to be put into a game console. That can handle two teraflops of information at a time, which is phenomenal. They're going to be featuring a secondary chip inside the PlayStation 4 that allows you to download games in the background or when the console is off. Um, to go along with that, guys, um, just to make a little bit more sense out of that, it, it kind of means... As you download a digital game, you can play it as it's being downloaded. So once enough information is generated on your console on that secondary chip to be able to play the game, it's going to let you play the game. You don't have to finish. You don't have to wait to play the game until your download finishes. Um, you're going to be able to download the things in the background as you're playing other games. You're going to be able to play the game that you're downloading as it's being downloaded in the background, and you can download these games while your console is off, which is phenomenal. Um, it's going to have a fast power button for on and off um, toggling. Now, usually, like if you're familiar with um, the consoles lately, you just push the button and it turns off. Well, that's as fast as it's going to turn on as well. There's no more loading. Um, if you were in the middle of a game and you want to turn your console off, you just push that button to turn it off. If you want to come back 10 minutes later, you just want to go get a quick snack or something like that, you turn your, X or your uh, PlayStation 4 right back on and it loads right where you stopped. Um, it's going to have a record game. You're going to be able to record gameplay on your console as well. Um, for YouTubers like myself, that's not that great of a feature. Um, just because we like to generally put a little bit more of gameplay on a hard drive somewhere else, like on a computer and on an external hard drive. But for people that want to just share things, like with the share button, that is awesome, man. You get to just um, touch the button and you record your gameplay. And then you touch another button and it shares your gameplay. Um... There are going to be smartphone apps for this as well, and I'm betting that the smartphone apps will not only just be for the Sony PS4, but for games as well. But right now, the only thing that's been released is for the PlayStation 4, is that you're going to be able to download games right from your smartphone. Um, so if you guys are going 
uh, you're getting out of work or something like that and you want to download the new game that just came out, all you got to do is go on your smartphone and it turns your console on at home on your way home from work. Uh, it starts downloading your game. By the time you get home, your game's downloaded. Um, one more thing, guys. It is said to be released around the holiday season of 2013. So I'm betting anywhere from October through December. Thanks, guys. It's been a pleasure to release this information to you guys. And I hope you like, favorite, and subscribe. Later.